We're gaining infamy and completing nefarious plots. That's right, it's Overlords of Infamy from Obscure Reference Games. This sinister strategy game pits evil overlords against one another in a competition to make the world miserable. By acquiring resources and stealing relics, overlords complete evil plots to accumulate misery points. The player with the most points by the end of the game is denounced the winner. Setup begins with each player selecting an evil overlord and taking a set of lackeys and their corresponding lair and infamy marker. Each player places their lair in the corner space of the board nearest to them. Place three lackeys on the barracks to start. Shuffle and place the plot cards, world events, and map tiles on the board. Set the world tension tracker to zero, place each overlord's infamy marker at one, and place the adventuring hero in the center of the board. Finally, deal two knavery plot cards to each player face down. Those players choose one and discard the other to the bottom of the knavery deck. Randomly determine the first player, and then turns will proceed clockwise. Before starting the game, determine how many world event cards need to be revealed to trigger the end game. Depending on the number of players seen here, the game recommends a certain amount of cards, and you are free to raise or lower this number if you want to vary your game time. Let's look at the board for a four-player game. Each corner of the map has a space for an overlord's lair. This is their starting triple hex tile. Each lair consists of a barracks, a village, and a resource space. The barracks is for unused lackeys, the village is used to recruit more lackeys, and the resource space lets you gain that resource. Additionally, each section contains a zone of influence for each overlord, which they can exploit during their turn. There's also contested areas, which multiple overlords can use if their map tiles touch that space, and the Kingdom of Good, which has special relics and the treasure Horde of the Hero. Gameplay occurs in turns, divided into four phases. Hero phase, action phase, espionage phase, and end phase. First, in the hero phase, the active player determines if the world tension marker landed on or past the three, six, or nine space of the board. If so, the player gets to roll the die and move the hero that many spaces. If not, move on to the action step. Moving the hero can foil the plans of other overlords depending on his placement. If he ends his turn on an empty or contested space, no one can place the lackey there. A map tile or contested space with a lackey removes those lackeys from the board and back to their lackey pool. The hero also takes a resource of that tile type from the supply and returns with it back to his stronghold. Placement on the overlord's lair forces the overlord to lose half rounded down of their resources, and if they have a relic, it's also returned to the kingdom of good. Finally, if the hero lands on a map tile with no lackey, that tile is liberated and discarded. The hero returns to the stronghold along with one of that resource token taken from the general supply. All of the resources the hero recovers can be stolen back by the overlords. Next in the action phase, the active player gains three action points to be spent in the following ways. Harvest a resource. Spend one action point to move a lackey from your barracks to an unoccupied resource space within your zone of influence or a contested space if your tiles touch it. Gain one token of that type. If your overlord's affinity matches that resource, you gain an additional of that type. Recruit a lackey. Spend one action point to move a lackey from your barracks to a village tile, and then add one lackey from your pool to your barracks. One note about lackeys, you can never have more than six on the board at a time, and you must always have at least one. You cannot take any actions that force you to lose your last lackey. Recall a lackey. Spin an action point to move a lackey from a map tile back to the barracks. Recall all lackeys. Spend three action points to bring all your lackeys back to the barracks. Exploit the land. Spend one action point to draw two map tiles, placing one on a space in your zone of influence adjacent to one of your map tiles, and discarding the other back to the bottom of the stack. Steal a relic. Spend two action points to replace a lackey on a relic space and take that relic. In order to interact with the Kingdom of Good tiles or contested tiles, players must have a connection of map tiles to that area. Relics are unique in the game and overlords can only have one relic at a time. 
Raid the hero's treasure. Spend two action points, and if the hero isn't in his stronghold, the overlord may discard a lackey from their barracks to sacrifice, and take the resources from the stronghold to add them to their supply. The overlord can only take a number of resources equal to their current infamy level. If you're not bad enough, you can't, can't do more bad stuff, you know? Sweep for infiltrators. Spend one action point to remove all enemy lackeys from your zone of influence, which returns them to their owner's pool. Additionally, as these actions resolve, players can complete their plots and raise their infamy level. Once an overlord has acquired all the assets needed, as noted on the card, they summon their best evil overlord voice and read that plot aloud. Place the plot face up on the section of the playmat for completed plots and advance that overlord's infamy by one level. Additionally, the world tension tracker is moved based on the level of the plot. Knavery moves at one space, villainy two, and domination three. The active player then chooses a new plot level depending on their infamy and draws two plots, keeping one and discarding the other. If a player wants to abandon their plot, they can use a free action called Start From Scratch by lowering their infamy level by one, discarding their current plot, and drawing two new plot cards from a stack in the same fashion. This can only be done once per turn. Next, in the espionage phase, players can hinder their opponents depending on their infamy level, provided the overlord can reach their target by having map tiles connect to a shared zone, like a contested zone or kingdom of good. The active player chooses one espionage action to take during this phase of their infamy level or lower, which include Glean Intel. View the active nefarious plot of one overlord, but you cannot share this information with other players. Infiltrate. Place a lackey on an opponent's non-lair tile as if it was in your zone. Your opponent cannot place a lackey there as long as it remains. If you place on a village or resource tile, resolve them as normal. Plunder resources. Discard a lackey from the barracks and roll a die. On a one or a two, nothing happens. On a three, steal one resource from the target. And on a four, take two basic resources or a relic. You could do this to another player or to the hero. Sabotage. Discard a lackey from the barracks and place a sabotage token on an opponent's plot card. When the overlord completes that plot, they must roll a die for each token on the card. Any ones mean the plot fails. Assassinate. Works like infiltrate, but you can place your lackey on an opponent's space that already contains their lackey, which is then removed from the board. Each of these actions have a handy guide on the back of the turn reference sheet as well, so don't you worry. Finally, during the end phase, determine if the game is about to end. If the amount of world event cards set in the beginning of the game has been revealed, everybody gets one more turn to gather more misery points. After that, the game ends, players count their completed plot's misery points, along with one point for each lackey on the board, one point for every two resources, and two points for a relic. And the overlord with the most points is denounced the winner. Overlords of Infamy also includes variant rules for solo mode and a five-player game where one player takes on the role of the adventuring hero. As the hero, they get to antagonize the overlords and attempt to complete a number of hero quests to win the game. And that's Overlords of Infamy. I'm Becca Scott, and I plead guilty to all of the crimes I committed alongside my overlord in chief. You can watch me play this game and other awesome games with my friends on Game the Game right here on Geek and Sundry. We'll see you there.